Hello and how are you today? Alright, so today we're just going to be working with Photoshop. Um, I'm going to show you how to automate some tasks. What we're going to do is we're just going to take uh, some images and then we're going to crop them using the automation tool with uh, Photoshop. Okay, we're going to crop them and uh, make thumbnails. So here's my original images. I want to make thumbnails out of these. Alright. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. A lot of people always want to know how to how to do this sort of thing because they're, you know, they have a bazillion pictures they want thumbnails for so they can just upload them all at the same time. So we go down to this uh, this actions window and I already have a, a custom set set up. If you want to make a new custom set, you can just go ahead and call it. We'll, we'll call this one uh, custom 2 for now for some reason and so I want to create an action inside of here I'll just uh, hit create new action we're going to call this make thumb 75 by 75 that's the size we want eventually so we're just going to hit record here so now Photoshop is going to be recording everything that I do. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open um, the Photoshop Automate folder, which is open. So, we can open up this picture here. Alright. And so, here we have a picture of a nasty um, millipede that I saw when I was in DC just gross anyway so up here we're gonna set the width and the height of my crop tool so that way when we do cropping it shows up perfectly square so we're just gonna select a portion of this um, um, usually you want it pretty close to the middle because all your images are gonna have what's important in the middle and we're just gonna hit enter here so it's gonna grab that little segment of it and then we're going to go control alt shift s or save for web now you can go to file save for web if you want okay and then over here in the image size we're gonna make it 75 hit apply so now over here we can see our thumbnail just go ahead and hit save and we will save it into this thumbs folder inside of our uh, Photoshop automate Save it there. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and close it. Make sure you do the open and close in the actions, and we will not save changes. Okay, and then down here, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop it. So now it's stopped. Okay, so now we can just apply that same action to the whole folder. The way we do that is we're just going to go into File, Automate, Batch. All right, so we have some options right here. Um, we got the override open actions. I don't know what that means, but you need it. <laughs> suppress file open option dialog, suppress color profile warnings. So if you want to be able to just walk away from the computer while it's, you know, making thumbnails or putting um, watermarks on your thousand pictures in your folder you want to have these checked and then just say log errors to file and I just have a default error file that I have it saved to right now um, and so I want to choose the folder here's my pictures Photoshop automate okay that's the folder I want and I want to make sure my set is custom to and then my action make them 75 by 75 cause that's what we just made so I'm just going to hit OK here and watch it work. We already saved this one, so now it's trying to replace it. So we'll just go ahead and hit replace. It's the only time it's going to do that. And now it's just going to go ahead and make thumbnails of all my pictures. So there was an error. I don't care. <laughs> all right, so now let's check out uh, what it did. Okay. So here's my thumbnails. Beautiful thumbnails that it made for me. Nice! 
and that is how you automate tasks. So you can repeat this process if you want to make uh, watermarks or anything like that. So good luck. Have a look at uh, some more of the some more of the videos we have on technohelpnow.com.